Well, hello everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, we are only a couple of weeks away from Lent. And before I begin the daily devotional today, I want to tell you about Lent that's coming. It's very exciting. So many people say to us, that's how they connected with our ministry. Well, we want to reach a lot more people. Uh, for Christ this Lent and help people renew their relationship with God, go deeper in their relationship with God, and for some people, come to God for the very first time. Well, have a look at this quick advertisement that we're running across social media and marketing on our television programs so that you might see it so that you could share this with someone else. Lent 2022 is not that far away. It's a fantastic period of time when we can make change in our life like often is hard to do at any other time. Well, I want to help you have the best Lent that you can possibly have. Each day, I want to send you a very short video that you can use in your prayer, that you can use to reflect upon that will help you get to the other end of Lent and really have had a very successful Lent. If you're close to God, Lent and what we're about to do is exactly for you. If you're someone who's not so sure about God, well, this period of time will be something that will really affect you very deeply. Well, to help you be part of Lent 2022, we've made it very simple. Just click on the sign up button below, and then on Ash Wednesday, March the 2nd, you'll begin to receive a video every day to help you in your prayer and in your reflection. Do it now, register now for Lent 2022. Well, if you just want to send that a, a link on the screen, that address on the screen to someone else, they can see it. And then from there, they will be able to sign up as well. Well, let's go straight to the scriptures. We're going to read from Mark chapter 8, a very famous passage. I love this passage of scripture. It really speaks to me. And I've seen something new in it today I want to share with you. In those days when there was again a great crowd without anything to eat, he called his disciples and said to them, I have compassion for the crowd because they've been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they'll faint on the way, and some of them have come from a great distance. His disciples replied, How can one feed these people with bread here in the desert? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven. Then he ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground and he took the seven loaves and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish and after blessing them, he ordered that these two should be distributed. They ate and were filled and they took up the broken pieces left over seven baskets full. Now there were about 4,000 people and he sent them away and immediately got into the boat with his disciples and went to the district of Delmutha. It's, it's just a fabulous passage of scripture. Here's a couple of things we see in this that will really help us in our own walk and our own prayer with God. Number one is this, is that Jesus sees the need of the people that are with them. Jesus sees our need. These people have been with me for three days. These people have had nothing to eat. These people, if they head off now, they're going to collapse along the way. I need to feed them. And his disciples, apostles turn at him and say, well, come on, Jesus, how do we feed this kind of crowd? How do we feed this kind of crowd? And he said, well, what have you got? And they said, we've got seven loaves. And Jesus says, well, tell everybody to sit down. And Jesus, Jesus gives thanks. Then it gets given out and there's a huge amount of food and even a lot left over. See, what we see in Jesus is that Jesus, one, he sees our need. Jesus sees exactly where you are right now. Jesus sees you in the midst of your pain, your struggle. Jesus sees you in the midst of the things you aspire to, the midst of your joys. Jesus sees you right now. And that what we know is by the personality of Jesus and the love of God, that God cares for you and cares for your physical needs and where you are right now. Now, sometimes we don't understand why God does the things he does, but that's where we grow in trust and in faith uh, in God. And, and then Jesus says, so tell me what you've got, what you've got, because they say it's impossible. He says, what, what you got? They say seven loaves. See, what I've discovered is that God takes the little we have and God makes it so much more. God can take the effort, our best effort, and make it so much more. But it requires of us a different kind of thinking. It requires of us a different way of seeing. It requires of us a different response in our life. 
And there are times in our lives when we bring our best in our relationships, whether in our health, our finances, and we have to come to God and we've got to lay those things before God and say, this is my best. Now, I want to say to you right now that this passage speaks to us today. It speaks to you and me today because within our life, we need to come and bring our best. And we were talking about uh, Lent before. Uh, last year, we, we, we sent out messages and uh, we advertised far. We spent a lot of money to be able to reach more people and to get the message out because it just doesn't automatically go out. And, and if I could tell the stories of just the literally thousands of people and the thousands of messages and emails, etc., we get because what we did was we did our best. But want to know something? That went so much further than we could have imagined. It was more than we could have asked or imagined the number of people that have been blessed by what occurred. And, and, and so we did our best. And I want to say that to you in your life. Where do you need to do your best? Knowing that your best falls short. That's where you need the miracle power of God. We did our best with Lent last year. God did so much more. And that's a principle that we're meant to live with and walk with in our life all the time. Doing our best, knowing that God will do the rest and even more than we can ask or imagine. It's a principle we live with all the time. So in your business, your marriage, your relationships, uh, your friendships, in the things you're seeking to achieve, it's do your best, submit to God and ask God to come and be part of your life and work in your life every day and you may not face something right now where this principle needs to exist in your life, but it does need to exist in your life. Because I know in my life, I keep coming back to this over and over and over again. Loving Father, I thank you today that you call us to trust you, to do our best and you will do the rest. Come Lord God to us right now and allow us to see your glory in our lives. And may we love you and adore you more. Lord, we pray that as we have begun the Lent campaign, to reach as many people as we can across the world. Last year, Lord, we just advertised in just a few countries, just a, just a handful of countries. Lord God, and what happened is it ended up in 132 countries because it was all we could do. And you took our little bit, our handful, and you spread it to 132 countries. What might it be this year? Lord God, come Lord God to us in our life and bless this Lent as well and father we make this prayer in the name of jesus through the power of your holy spirit if you think you know people that would be blessed why don't you send them this address and they can watch the video and then they can sign up if they want and then come lent we'll go on a journey together hey and don't forget wherever you are god is never far from you